Well, guys, <laughs> drilling wells, man, ain't all it's cracked up to be. So what I got to do is I got to pick out a few of these guys, like this one here, a couple of these short ones, and uh, I'm going to need a couple heads. I got to do a few things out there today. I got three different styles of pipe here, and it kind of sucks if I don't have the correct, like, I wish I had something that went from this pipe to a different pipe. That's really screwing me. I also wish I had one like this that went to a female end, and I don't. But we're getting it done, slow but sure. This is for a core drilling operation here. But I wish I had one of these that allowed me to couple different style pipes. You know, when I got all this stuff, it was basically already, how do I say? What size is that? Three and a half. It was already beat to piss, you know. This is the one I kind of use for my... Uh, well across the street, of course the sun is gonna screw us every way and I got some bigger carbide tipped ones that we're gonna end up using today Now look at the massive carbide on there But anyways, I got to pull these pipe and uh, Put them in the back of the truck because I need a couple different sizes. So I will see you guys out there fucking weirdos The other day when I parked this fucking trailer God damn, I had like seven mice come running out of the, the trailer. Sick, nasty son of a bitches. I hate mice so bad. I hate mice just about as much as I hate politicians. Only thing is mice are just trying to survive. Politicians are trying to survive too, but they're trying to get rich off people that work hard. We got 10 more gallons of gas, couple different sections of pipe, a handful of bits, a new battery for the skid steer. Oh, fuck. Spill my coffee. So we'll make another go of it. I think we're going to get some progress today. If not, well, I guess I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. Well, guys, the first thing I'm going to do here today is I bought a new choke lever. Because walking around this son of a bitch like this every single time. <sighs> reaching up here, standing on this, and flipping this. I'm sick and tired of it. So we're going to fix that, and then we're going to get to work. Of course, the sun's going to be right in my face for another hour. So we get rid of that. It's all jerked off in there. two options they had a edelbrock one and then they have this dorman universal and we ain't spending a million dollars on it so this one's way longer and to be honest you know there ain't no need to have a five mile long one or a real expensive one Good. 
sure this roughs up right away for us. I just don't have a, a hex head on the other side of it here. A whole bag of little goodies too in case you just needed something. Got this deal. It's got a couple little doodads in here for mountain. I think we're gonna be able to reuse some of the old stuff on here. So, I'll take this off. See what I did there, but I'll try to <laughs> Let's see if it works. I'll zoom you in on it here. Tell me if it works or not. Too much cable stick. So we're gonna have to what? Pull this. I if I can cut this without. They used to. No, 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 no. They don't make them like they used to. Good thing, too. This guy. All the way in. Okay. This. Yes, carburetor. <laughs> All right, people, let's try this one more time. A couple more years of that, and we're done. Yeah, buddy. All right, we got her. You see it? It worked. So now. Here's my mess from yesterday, guys. We're gonna go ahead and pick this stuff, put it in the truck so it don't get all over the place. Because it's got a good, it's got a good end on there. So if we can get that end off, 
We need that end. Yeah, that guy is wedged in there. Maybe someone tried to get it out already. That is heavy. I'll put a foot pad down on the end of the pipe and then I'll use the backhoe to press on the wrench to bust them off. Let me get uh, let me get this show on the roll, and once we're drilling, I'll bring you guys back. It's just a lot of stuff I gotta get done, and it's hard to film and do all this. So I could let it run here too, but then I'll be doing five million things. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I'm getting these off.
now what I gotta do is I gotta switch to a shorter drill rod <clears throat> and put another section on. And I gotta use the skid steer to bust it loose because these old machines, that's all they got is manual labor. So let me do that. I'll get the next one set up and then we'll go again. So this is how I change it out, guys. I take a cheater bar, I hold that off, and then I break it loose, which I already broke it loose. It wasn't that hard. Sometimes. take me a while but I'll get one of these things broke free and then we can start again of course guys as soon as I don't film it it works <laughs> See it's smoking. so we'll do the other side too well actually the other side can stay like that Film for once. Dang it. Every time. Never fails.
biggest thing I'm fighting here is the lack of fucking water. All right, look at all that water. Now, I got a big tank up there that I replenish with, but this thing can push so much water so fast that it drains my supply. However, it's so coarse down there that I can't get the water to come up out of the hole because it just goes in the ground and disappears. So, unfortunately, that's why I brought this pipe. So we're gonna end up sticking this pipe down in there and I got a couple different solutions. Here. Now, I got this guy too, which can go onto one of these pipes. And pick out. I think that's what we're gonna end up having to do. I got a couple different styles of this. Now, if this was if this was any other type of ground, if it was clay or something, I would be able to retain my water and keep drilling. But I got to stop every couple minutes because the goddamn water disappears under the ground. Because if you look, this is what we're dealing with. It's so porous, and that's a good thing too. Because if we get down so far, then the water's going to flood the hole and keep it saturated down there, which will allow us to pump the water. But until we get down another 10 foot, that's not even possible. This is what I'm using down there right now, okay? And there's a hole in there. But if you don't have water being pressed through there, what happens is you clog that hole and then you burn these heads up, all right? Now these just spin and pulverize that rock. And this is sandstone most of it so it just eats that shit right up but it turns into clay because that's what standstone is and then it gums everything up so we gotta keep filling this up matter of fact i'm gonna have a sandwich and we'll get back to it once the water's full again all right you guys ready for another 30 seconds <laughs> Dang, this hole feels like my old lady, eh? 30 seconds at a time. Now let's get this one first.
We did make some headway that time, though. I was surprised. Well, our only heaven scent is this here. It's just too bad it doesn't pump a higher volume, you know. I tried to bring my uh, pump down to the lake, but it's so damn heavy. I just, I, I can't pump. Maybe if it was a newer pump, it would work better, but it is a decent pump. I mean, it's an eight horsepower pump, but it's so heavy to bring that up and down that shoreline. Let me show you what it looks like out there. I think I already showed you, but. Well, I can eat my sandwich and do this all day, I guess. That's what it's like, you know? It's not like our beach where uh, <laughs> we actually have beach. This is rock. It hasn't been turned to sand yet. There's a giant boat out there too. You can hear the rumble of it. Let me give you some perception. Oh, look at this, guys. That's about a 30 inch. Well, yeah, probably, yeah, probably is 30 inches. But look at where it's headed. Right for the drill rig. <laughs> I gotta get that out of there before we get high winds. Cause that is looking rough. Let me measure that. Yeah, 26. At this end, my balance is nothing like it used to be either. Look at this guy. That log right there is uh, very light. She's been rolling around for quite some years. Look at the end of it. Been rolling around out there for a long time. How we doing on water? Let's get there. Here. I would love to have all these rocks at my place. We gotta pay for rock down there. <laughs> I'll say, this is what we're drilling into, guys. I love when I fucking start chewing on hair. Woman. Feed the seagulls because there's no fish in this lake. Well, that's what we're drilling into right there. On a wish and a prayer. I think though, as long as we can get down. Ooh, look at this big old rock. Probably Uper lights down here. Oh. Uper. Now, it's going better today than it did yesterday, anyway. Yesterday was a fight to be hell. Oh, we're losing some of our water here.
me show you guys what I'm watching while I'm doing this. So, you see that little gap right there? What I'm doing is I'm going down just enough so that goes up. And then I watch how it comes down. That's the weight of the machine doing that. And now I'm packing dirt in the end of it. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Now my biggest problem with this guys is I'm not getting any flush water. Everything's going down and out. So I can't get anything up and out of the hole. Which is a huge problem because we're getting flush rock going back down in the hole. We're pulverizing it. And then I'm putting bentonite in there so it kind of creates its own hole. But what I'm going to have to do now is separate this pull that off and send a sleeve down there so we can capture that water to come out of here without the bullshit. So, in 1975, well drillers were men because <laughs> they had to make it happen with very little. You know, them new rigs, they pull up with 900 gallons of uh, another truck to feed water they got all their pipes you know their pipes are 20 foot long so many variables that make a new drill rig everything you know and that's why they cost so much you know back in the day whoever was running this was probably making two dollars two dollars three dollars an hour maybe five probably even ten for the best ones can you imagine holy shit so I guess you guys can watch me break this pipe loose and then we'll try to try it again. We are getting down though. We got that we got what? Two foot?
my bigger, I got a bigger one of these too, but I didn't bring it because I thought eventually I would get it to where it would piss out the water. Totally mistaken on that one. I mean, I could grab some of this stuff. I'll put a half a tub of bentonite down there. you think it would start firming up the walls, and it just isn't. deeper because the hole's only so big so that's just riding on that pipe round and round and round so I'm just holding it there with the with the pipe ring. there's nothing for it to grab and and crush me <laughs> knock on wood I need a tube But we're down almost four feet now, guys. So we're getting we're getting progress. It just ain't a lot. So let me bring you back when we got to put another piece of pipe on. It's gonna be more of the same.
is meant to ram and I don't have the rope for the spool on the other side to slam. That's for driving a casing or driving a uh, test spear to get a sample. I got the cable at home, but I wasn't planning on using it. But if we can get a couple inches, it'll work.
So I just pulled this thing over with the chain and the skid steer. You can see it right there. But I'm sick of, for some reason, every time this thing lifts up, it falls to the to the right side of how I'm standing. And that was it. I was done. I would have liked to get that thing down another eight feet. I don't think I'm gonna though. I suppose I could try. Now that I'm all set up. I could drill down with that other rod. This sucks, man. Pulling it in and out. I almost should, though, and get it down to about here. Another...
he is a well digger. And the phone shut off right when I busted through. I'm gonna have to look at the video, but I look back, all of a sudden I broke through that layer of rock and the pipe just started going down like butter. And I was like, oh shit, the phone went off. So this is the way life goes, I guess. So I'm gonna get back to the house here and edit some stuff and we'll see what happens. Have a good one.